This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by Cabela, America's foremost outfitter. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're inshore fishing, and you may think, you know, you're over at the island. How can that be inshore? When I say inshore fishing, what I mean is we're targeting fish in 100 feet of water or less. So that's all considered inshore. It doesn't matter if you're Coronado Islands or farther down in Mexico or right along the kelp there in San Diego or up in Los Angeles. It really doesn't matter. Inshore fishing is inshore fishing. And even when I'm at Guadalupe Island, which is over 200 miles offshore, and I'm fishing in water 75 feet or less, I still consider that inshore fishing. So what we're doing today is targeting the bonita, calico bass, and there might be an occasional barracuda. And because of that, what I like to do is use a thin wire circle hook. This is a 702 owl made by Laser Sharp, and it's a great hook for weeding out the smaller calicos. Uh, lots of times when we're calico fishing, you catch a lot of shorts. You don't want to hurt those fish. And what a circle hook does is it allows you to hook the fish around the corner of the jaw, and the eye of the hook is outside the fish's mouth. So it never hurts the fish. The other advantage to this is if barracuda swim by, lots of times we lose a barracuda because they'll swallow the whole hook in line, and their teeth are so sharp, they'll bite right through it. But with the circle hook, again, that hook is going to be right in the corner of the jaw. The eye of the hook is going to be outside their mouth. So the fish's teeth will never touch the monofilament of your fishing line, so you don't have to worry about getting cut off. That's the big advantage of circle hooks. Now, if you're not sure what these hooks look like in your store, what you can do is pick up one of the Dan Hernandez inshore hook kits. They're made by Eagle Claw. They're filled with laser sharp hooks, and they come with a wide selection of hooks that you need for inshore fishing. The 702 Al circle hook is one of those hooks. And you'll see that I use red hooks, black hooks, big variety hooks. What I try to stay away from are the chrome color hooks. I like more of the colored hooks. They seem to work great for me. And there's also a DVD in here on the different regs and knots that you need for inshore fishing. You'll see this particular knot that I have here is a perfection loop knot. And the reason for that is I want my bait to be able to swim freely when it's in the water. That's why I have that loop. When you tie it, when you're actually fishing, the loop will be a little bit smaller. But I just have a little bit bigger one here so you can see it. Now, when we start fishing the calicos, the fish will be a little bit deeper in the kelp. And today we have a little bit more current. So you want to have a sliding sinker like this. Uh, you can go anywhere from a quarter ounce to an eighth of an ounce, just depending on how much current you have and how deep you're fishing. You can go, to, you know, just different size sinkers should always be in your tackle box. You never quite know what you're going to need. Now, as far as a rod and reel, you know, this type of fishing is perfect for my Dan Hernandez signature rod. It's made by Shakespeare. It's an ugly stick custom rod. I picked out the components and the colors, the actions. It's just perfect for this type of fishing. Got pinned up with the Pin International 975. It's got a level wind on it, so when you're winding back your line and, and you just concentrate on fighting the fish, you don't have to worry about moving the line back and forth. The reel will do it all for you. This is all you need. Real simple gear, great rod and reel for this type of fishing. 20-pound test line is really all you need on that. And again, if you're not sure what hooks you need, just pick up one of my hook kits. You can find the hook kits on my website or at your local tackle store. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. 